Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kiger, and up here today with a game review. It's been a while since we've done an actual game review, and I'm going to be reviewing a PS3 exclusive, yes, Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn. I've been playing this game quite a bit recently, um, and I want to start off by saying that this game is the fourth in the Gundam Dynasty Warriors um, series. Now, not a lot of people are aware that this game exists. A lot of people think, uh, oh, you know, why was there not a Dynasty Warriors Gundam 4? Well, this game is basically Dynasty Warriors Gundam 4 um, without being called Dynasty Warriors Gundam 4. I feel like they called it Reborn because this was kind of like a, a reboot of the series. Kind of like, um, you know, a, a rework of the series. Um, I, I want to start off by saying that, Koei, if you're watching this, Please make another game in this series. I'm surprised this didn't get a PS4 release. Um, because, I mean, look at Dy Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends. That got a PS4 release. Um, you know, we know we've had Samurai Warriors 5 recently. And, of course, Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires is coming out also quite soon. Um, but <clears throat> they haven't really done much with the Gundam series. But I want to start by saying this is one of my favourite of the... Uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam games. In fact, it probably is my favourite Gundam game of all time. Um, and yeah, so um, first up, the first thing you want to start, you want to notice about this game is the graphic style. Um, they went with a more realistic look to the mobile suits. In the older games, in the third game, they had like a cell shaded graphic, and then in one and two, it sort of had more cartoonish graphic. But in this one, they went for a more sort of realistic looking um design uh even in the level designing stuff like that and uh to be honest i, I think it looks pretty good i mean it is a, a, a an eight-year-old game this came came out in 2014 and it's a ps3 game so it's not going to look you know full-on graphical detailed but for the most part it looks pretty well and of course with dynasty warriors games there's so much happening at once you know, you don't really need to sort of get close-ups and anything. So, um, and of course, um, this game doesn't include English voiceovers. It has Japanese um, with English subtitles. So it uses um, the, the scenes and some scenes and uh, talking scenes from actual characters from the show. Um, this game is split into two modes. It's got official mode and ultimate mode so official mode is the usual thing that we get with the dynasty warriors games is the sort of uh you know story mode and this game has um i think it's got six or seven scenarios based on the actual animes it includes uh, mobile suit gundam uh, mobile suit gundam zeta uh, mobile suit gundam char's counter attack which i think was exclusive to this version of the game um, and also includes Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn and Mobile Suit Gundam Seed and Seed Destiny. Um, and of course, the, if you're a fan of those uh, particular shows or mangas, um, you'll definitely feel right at home here because it does sort of um, follow those actual stories quite well. Um, you know, the iconic battles between, you know, the original Gundam Amuro versus char and of course the unicorn gundam so so I, I i do like the official mode um and the official modes each of them take anywhere between an hour to two hours to complete so they're not overly long but ultimate mode on the other hand is the sort of mode where the game really shines in terms of replay value um ultimate mode you basically will pick a character a pilot and then it will just give you a ton of different scenarios to choose from. Each scenario obviously will have some different sort of, some of them might have a different um, uh, main objective, like one you have to complete in a certain amount of time, one of them you have to keep the battleship alive, uh, one of them is just a quiz where you've got to get the right answers, you know. Um, and of course in this mode there's a lot of RNG element to the game, so each mission um, whether you if you fail the mission and do it again, they might have different enemies in it, different pilots, um, different sort of things that happen. Um, but the game also has a, a, a medal system basically. Um, so each each mission will have three medals you can get: bronze, silver, and gold. Um, and they could be something simple like complete the mission in 
in a certain amount of time or complete a mission with a certain amount of kills or complete a mission pilot in a certain type of mobile suit and so on and it does give some good replay value to the game by doing that um, <clears throat> um, so basically how it works with the pilots in this game this game doesn't have a, a, an actual mode for each individual pilot like it did in say Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3 and 2 instead what you get is the, this ultimate mode um, basically each pilot can be upgraded and you know you can get upgrades for your pilot like um, new skills for example and leveling them up um, and of course uh, you can get different each pilot will have a, a particular mobile suit that they can use that others can't for example if you chose char you could use his Zaku 2 for example or the or the um, char's uh, zigok or whatever um, but obviously I'll get into the unlockables in a minute um, but but I do like the ultimate mode because it does give some good RNG and some definitely some great replay value because if you do a mission and you go oh shoot uh, you know I was meant to use a certain suit but I didn't have it unlocked and then when you unlock it you can go back and do it so there is a lot of replay value with the ultimate mode I think there's like 20 or so scenarios um, to choose from and obviously you unlock them that I do in other missions. But then the game, now the game also has um, an upgrade system with the mobile suit. So every time you play a mission, um, killing certain mobile suits, they'll drop plans. You can use those plans to combine them with other plans to improve a particular suit. Or you can upgrade the abilities of the suit. Um, you can get different rarities of the suit. So you can get like S rank, which is the highest rank, and E rank, um, for example. And it definitely works quite well because you really do need to focus on upgrading those suits and getting the best version of the suit possible especially in some of the later missions because um, it doesn't really um, apply to official mode but an ultimate mode it does um, you could just stick with one pilot max them out and all of that if you really wanted to um, but then we get into the upgrade the unlockable this card system basically so every time you complete a mission um, sometimes you might get a card and a card could be something simple like extra money but then you get unlockable pilots so playable characters unlockable um unlockable um uh, partners which obviously I'll go into when I talk about the actual gameplay changes and then of course unlockable mobile suits um, but like I said when it comes to choosing a character um, you know they will have certain suits that other people can't use but what's great about this game is it's an unlockable system every time you you do you unlock something obviously you could um, let's say you were playing as um, Armoro for example and you played as the normal Gundam say 10 times then you would unlock that Gundam for any pilot to use basically and there's so many unlockables um, and there is an achievement for getting every single card every single mobile suit and all of that so this game does, does have a lot of replay value in that sense which is which is kind of common with warriors games in general um because they, they tend to have a lot of unlockables and a lot of replay value um and stuff like that albeit if you are doing the same missions over and over again but again if you are trying to get 100 percent in this game it is going to take you over 120 hours um, what else is new in this game? So there are over 120 mobile suits available in this game Everything from the traditional standard Zaku 2 all the way up to like the Destiny Gundam You can also use giant mobile suits in this game Giant mobile suits made their appearance in Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2 and also 3 But you couldn't pilot them in this game you can you can um, you can either put them in ultimate mode as any as a certain character or you can in, in official mode sometimes when you complete official mode it doesn't have it for everyone I think it's got like four of them four out of the seven um, it will give you a particular mission which you can try out the giant mobile suits and they are pretty fun to use albeit they are a bit slower um, but they are extremely overpowered and very powerful and of course you know you can take out hundreds of enemies at once which is kind of the idea of it so it is a nice little cool little uh, addition to the game uh, then we get into the actual gameplay what is the difference between the gameplay in this game than say Dynasty Warriors 3 Gundam well this game has a much faster paced gameplay 
Um, it feels like in this game, the mobile suits are so much more responsive and they're quick and you can dash around. So one of the new features is the dash attack. You could do dash attacks in the older games, but they, they didn't work too great. In this one, whenever you're doing a normal attack, if you press triangle and then press X afterwards, you can do dash attack and you can do it multiple times. You know, um, you also get a burst attack, which basically where you become like overpowered um, and then you can use extra attacks or have increased abilities or maybe unlock a certain type of attack that isn't available unless you use burst mode and you can also calling your partner to you know do an attack after you've done your special move for example um so that's obviously new to this game but i feel like the gameplay in this one is much faster paced um even when you're using like basic mobile suits like the zaku 2 you can still take out hundreds of enemies at once um some people might be put off by this the fast pacedness of this game and i will say it does get a little bit disorientating at some times especially if you're playing it on a big tv um but it's definitely an enjoyable experience nonetheless um, I feel like if you're a fan of a dynasty of, of Dynasty Warriors uh, or and or Gundam, you'll definitely enjoy this game. It's definitely got something for everybody, uh, fan wise, in this game. Um, I think this game definitely. I want to start off by saying that this game should have got a re-release on the PS4 um, <coughs> with all the DLC. Yes, there is DLC for this game which you can purchase it costs 25 pounds for all of the dlc which isn't too bad considering you'll get a ton more scenarios and some extra mobile suit pilots that sort of stuff if you are looking forward to it um looking into getting that um just be aware that um it's weird the way with the playstation 3 now if you use the store you have to add funds to your account you can't just pay for it with your card you have to add funds to your account um, you can't do it directly on the PS3, so you'd have to do it on a PC or your mobile or even your PS4 or something like that. But I, I am tempted to maybe pick up the DLC. Um, I'm not playing this game to get 100% on everything or unlock everything. Um, I just want to do every mission at least once. Um, you know, I'm not trying to get every single medal and stuff like that just because if i did this it would take ages and obviously i've got tons of more games to go back and play and continue on with but dynasty warriors gundam reborn i'm going to give this game an 8.5 out of 10 um in terms of warriors games go it's a very very fast paced game maybe even a 9 out of 10 um i, I would have liked maybe some more official modes i feel like they kind of dropped the ball they could have done more of them but um, in the ultimate mode, you get characters and mobile suits from other Gundams that aren't included in the official mode. So I suppose they did do that. Um, I would have liked an exclude like like in Dynasty Warriors three. I would have liked um, the ability that each character would have had, you know, their own sort of path they could take. But I suppose the ultimate mode has a lot of unlockables and stuff like that. So. Um, Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn, definitely worth checking out. Unfortunately, this game is getting a little bit more expensive. It is starting at £50, unfortunately. In CEX, they sell, sell this game for, I think, £50 or £60. So, um, if you can get it any cheaper than that, definitely pick it up because it is getting expensive now. You could probably sell this on eBay for, like, £60 and people will probably pay it. Um, I think it's probably because it wasn't, um... Because I think it was a late PS3 release, you know, 2014, the PS4, and that was on the way or even out at that time. So, you know, um, I don't know. I feel like this game could have um, definitely benefited more from an updated version. Or even, you know, we might see a new Dynasty Warriors Gundam game in the future um, from Koei Tecmo and Bandai Namco. But nonetheless, one of my favourite ps3 games um one of the reasons i kept my ps3 and one of the reasons why i love um these sort of things but nonetheless guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did feel free to leave a like and of course comment below let me know what your favorite gundam game is um of course it's a very popular series so there are tons of gundam games out there and hundreds on pretty much every system has at least one gundam game um 
and of course uh, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family follow me on twitter instagram and twitch at the mad tiger um i have been invited to play bat for blood tonight but i think i'm going to take a break tonight and uh, watch some tv tonight i'm going to watch some allo allo um and as always guys have a nice day and i'll see you in the next video take care and bye bye